Yeah. Yep. Everyone ready? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? All right, thank you for coming. Um, today I want to tell you about the disappearance of Tanya Ebert, a 23-year-old young German woman who's been missing since shortly after 7pm on Tuesday the 8th of August. Tanya was reported missing at about 10.30 on Thursday the 10th, so a couple of days later, um, to the police call centre by one of her relatives. What we know is that back on the 8th, after a visit to Adelaide, Tanya, her husband and their two children left Adelaide to travel back to their property, which is just out of Manor Hill, a pastoral property out there. Shortly after 7pm, uh, the vehicle containing them all stopped at the service station at Roseworthy, and her husband bought um, drinks sufficient for the four people in the car. The husband has told us that about one to one and a half kilometres north of the service station on Main North Road, adjacent to the wheat stacks there, that uh, Tanya became agitated in the car and expressed to him that she didn't want to go back to Manor Hill, and he stopped the car. She got out and walked off. He continued home to Manor Hill and never saw her again. It's quite unusual. She left in the car her phone, her bag, her passport, driver's licence and her children. But we do know, based on what the husband has told us, she had um, a large amount of cash on her. The investigation continued um, as per normal missing persons investigations, but as it progressed, um, concern increased about her safety and what may have happened to her. Over the coming days we were able, unable to find anything consistent with Tanya being alive. For example, no contact with friends, no Facebook posts, uh, no expenses, no sightings that can be confirmed, um, and so our concern increased. There's some things over recent days, and in particular yesterday, um, which lead us to the conclusion, in the absence of any obvious signs of life, that Tanya may have been murdered. At this stage, we are treating it as a murder investigation. However, we would love to be proved wrong and we would love for Tanya to walk through the door and be OK. But at this stage, we're treating it as a murder investigation and that will ensure that it's a thorough, comprehensive investigation that leaves no stone unturned and will mean that um, it gives us the best chance of finding her. Today there's been an extensive search at Roseworthy involving major crime personnel, star group personnel, people from Barossa York LSA, uh, Mounted Police uh, and the police helicopter. There was um, nothing of significance found in that search which um, helps the investigation at this stage. Simultaneously, a search has been conducted of the home out of Manor Hill. Um, forensic police, investigators from major crime, um, detectives from Port Perry CIB and local uniformed people are in that area conducting an extensive search and talking to the husband. I can tell you that um, Tanya is a 23-year-old German girl. She was married uh, to her husband for about four years and has a boy one and a boy just over three years of age. She's lived with her husband on their sheep property outside Manor Hill and for all intents and purposes seemed to have a normal uh, happy life. We know that she arrived in Australia in 2012 um, as part of um, her travels and at some point met her current husband and they married. Major crime investigation branch have been dealing with the German embassy and also have been in communication with the family in Germany. So at this stage it's a very active investigation. We have a lot of um, police deployed, um, obviously in Adelaide um, and surrounding areas and also in the far north. So what we're looking to find out is anyone who's seen Tanya since Monday the 7th of August 
Um, it's important for anybody at all who's seen her since then, whether it was shopping in Rundle Mall, we do know she was at the mall, we do know she was at the museum, and there'll be some uh, images released of that. Um, anybody that's talked to her since then, we'd ask that any of her friends, she communicates with a lot of people on Facebook, she has a big circle of friends, if any of her friends can make contact with police through um, Crime Stoppers um, to tell us about her life in Australia, her present life, and perhaps what her intentions are to the future. That will be very important to the investigation. And anything else that people think may in any way help the investigation. So as I say, in the absence of anything to indicate that Tanya's alive, we're treating it as a murder investigation, but we're hoping for a miracle and that she walks through the door. But sadly, we don't think that will happen. Is her husband a suspect? Um, look, it's... It would be um, unfair to say that at the moment, but common sense says, and I'm sure the husband understands, that in a case like this, when a person's reported missing, or in fact in any homicide, generally police will have a good look at the person that's last with the person. And the reason we do that is to, one, um, either eliminate that person completely from the investigation or to incriminate them, but at the same time pursuing every other line of inquiry and considering every other possibility. What was the amount of cash she had and why did she have so much on her? Um, they were quite carrying an amount of money that day. We're aware of why they had the money um, and why she ended up with the money, but I probably won't go into that. The, 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 the husband told you she became agitated. Do you have any more information about that? What was the reason for her, her um, agitation? Yeah, what I, what I can say is that... Um, She'd expressed an unhappiness in her married life um, and en route back to Manor Hill, um, obviously that had manifested and uh, she'd indicated that she didn't want to go back, according to the husband, and got out of the car. How, um, how was she dressed? Yeah, was she dressed for the, um, the earlier reports of her as a missing person had her dressed in different clothes um, to what was since found on the CCTV. So I think the most likely scenario is that she was wearing the clothes that are depicted in the CCTV image that will be released um, to you shortly if it hasn't been. Are police speaking with anybody else in relation to any other suspects? Yeah, there's a, there's a massive um, a commitment of resource into it, speaking to as many people as we possibly can to get as much information as we possibly can, as quick as we can. Um, so it's a, it's a very high priority with lots of people working on it. No, she didn't, but um, as I say, um, we do believe that there were issues in the marriage that perhaps made her unhappy um, and that she had indicated um, that she was considering leaving. Um, we know there's a relationship or that she possibly was considering leaving and going to um, New South Wales, but a lot of these things are yet to be confirmed. But clearly she was unhappy based on what we've heard. I think that's extremely unlikely. We have put in a huge effort to try and find anything that indicates that she's still alive, and we can't find anything at this stage. But as I say, we would be really happy to be proven wrong and we'd love her to walk through the door, but um, experience and everything we've found so far indicates that's highly unlikely. There's been no police interaction with this family previously? Uh, no, there's no adverse interaction between police and um, her husband's family or her uh, in the past. How is the family in Germany? Are they going to make a trek out? Any indication? It, it's a little bit early. Um, one of our senior sergeants and our victim contact officer has had contact with her mum and they're continuing to have contact. Um, they'll be speaking to her again um, very, very soon, or perhaps even at this moment. Um, but it's too early for the family to decide what they're going to do at this stage, but I'm sure those decisions will be made in the near future. Are there no mental health issues with the lady? It's still really early. Um, um, we don't have any documented um, proof that she was suffering any mental illnesses, but um, clearly she was unhappy with her present situation if she was contemplating uh, leaving her husband. President